Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to talk about my January TBR. So in January I've decided that I would like to participate in one readathon and that is Winterween. It's hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte and it's from the 4th to the 10th. And it is basically just a spinoff from their summer ween that they did. Everybody seemed to like it, so they decided to do a winter version. And you read um, spooky mysteries or thrillers and things like that. It's horror mysteries and thrillers. And uh, it's got five prompts. And I'm going to cheat and use my sheet here. And um, the first prompt is to read a book with the word haunt in the title. And they are going to be having a group read, and it's called The Haunting of Bren Wilder by Wendy Webb. And I have absolutely no clue what it's about. Put the picture here. And all I know is it's on Kindle Unlimited, and it's a haunting story. And so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try, because I didn't really have anything else for that prompt. And then the next one is to read a book with a blue on the cover. And I have an e arc that I need to get to. It, The book comes out in March, but me and my friend are going to buddy read it in January because we absolutely love this series. And I got it from Berkeley. And it's An Unexpected Peril by Deanna Rayborn. And it's number six in the Veronica Speedwell series. Pretty much all I needed to know to add this to my uh, want to read and grab it from the net galley. And... Um, I just know that it has to do with a princess and some the Curiosity Club that uh, Veronica is a part of and murder and they've got to solve it and that's all I need to know. It's, it's Veronica and Stoker and that's all I need to know. So I can't wait to get to that one. Then the next prompt is to um, read a book in the dark and so I'm just going to double this one up and read one of the books that I have. I'm not really big on this prompt. Prompt. I don't like reading in the dark. It hurts my eyes. And unless you can consider that it's dark outside and I'm reading. Because, you know, it gets dark really early. And I can just read anytime <laughs> after like 5 o'clock. But, yeah. We'll pick one of them and we'll read it for that one. And then the next prompt is to read a book with a winter setting. And I have picked Five Total Strangers by... Natalie D. Richards. I had this on my radar from last year and my friend Barb said that she really enjoyed it and so I'm kind of curious about it. And I got it from Hoopla and it's the audio version and so I, I needed to get an audio in here so that I could uh, maybe make this uh, readathon doable with all the books. <laughs> and um, I know it's about somebody hitches a ride with these people and of course there's five total strangers and one of them seems uh, bent on causing some kind of havoc or something. I don't know what it is and I'm kind of curious of what's going to happen. And it's set in a blizzard so it's got a winter setting. That's all I know. And then number five is to read a creepy novella or short story. And I got a book from the author and it's called The Gulp by Alan Baxter. And it's, I believe, five novellas in one book. And so I'm going to choose the first novella out of that to read for this prompt. In hopes that maybe I can do a novella like a week and get this book finished in January. But I'm just going to use the one for that. I'm not going to try to read the whole thing in that one week because I know it won't happen. But at least I can get the one story out of it. I know that the five stories are supposed to go together to make up the whole book story of The Gulp, and that's pretty much all I know about it. It's a horror book, and we'll see if I like it or not. Then, after that, I have some review books that I would like to try to get to. I have some e-arcs along with um, just one arc that I need to get to, and... If you see me looking over this way, it's because I'm trying to look at the date that they are published so that I can tell you because I don't have that memorized and I didn't write it down on my paper. 
And the first one I would like to get to is A Curious Incident by Vicki Delaney. And this is number six in the Sherlock Holmes Bookshop series. And I got this from Crooked Lane. And it is published on January 12th. And I don't know a lot about what this one is about. It's just a cozy mystery series that I am reading. And this is the next one that I need to read. And it's about Gemma Doyle, who, um, she has kind of that uncanny ability, like Sherlock Holmes, to be able to put cl clues that nobody else would see or whatever and, uh, figure out what's going on. And it's an interesting series, and I like it. And then the next one is Killer Comfort Foods by Lynn K. Hoon, and it's a farm-to-fork mystery. It's number five. I got this one from Kensington. And um, it's about Angie, who owns a restaurant that is farm to table. And in this one, I think somebody is threatening to maybe take her farm, some kind of big agriculture. And so, of course, somebody will die, and she'll have to figure out what happened. And that one comes out January 5th. So I better get cracking on that one. And then uh, I've got Amari and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Austin. And I got this one from HarperCollins. And all I know really that I can remember is it about Amari whose brothers go, her brother goes missing and nobody's wanting to look for him. So she decides she's going to look for him and she finds that her brother left her something to an invitation to join some kind of supernatural society or some sort. That's about all I know. I've heard good things about it, so I am hoping that I'm going to like it. Then the next one I have is City of the Plague God by Charvat. Charvat? Shada? I'm pretty sure I probably just butchered that author's name, so I apologize. And this is a book I got from Disney, which I was kind of excited about because I don't ever get hardly ever get books from Disney. Usually I get rejected, so I was excited that I got accepted for this one. It's a Rick Rye Warden Presents, and all I really know is it's about Mesopotamian mythology, and I kind of have, I have a good time with the mytholo mythological books that come out from the Rick Rye Warden Present books, and so I just wanted to give it a try because I have no clue about anything to do with Mesopotamian mythology, so... And it comes out on the 12th. And then I have The Nightmare Thief by Nicole, Nicole Lesperance. And I know I got this one from Source Books. And I know that it is about a girl whose family makes dreams. And then she gets caught doing something she shouldn't have. And gets blackmailed into, I don't know, making nightmares or taking nightmares? I don't know. Something to do with nightmares. And it just sounded cute. And I, I like the coverage. Very bright and pretty. And so it was kind of a cover thing. And so that's really all I know about that one. And it comes out on the 12th as well. I have a lot that come out on the 12th, actually. And then I have got... Alone by Megan E. Freeman, and this one comes out on the 12th as well. And I got this from Simon & Schuster, and it is about a girl, Maddie, who has to survive on her own after she lied to her parents. And her parents are divorced, and she told she wanted some time to herself because she's got, like, this blending family thing going, and her mom and her, uh, I guess, maybe husband, and he had twins and then they had a new baby and she just I guess wanted a little bit of a long time and so she told her dad that she was going to stay with her mom and told her mom that he was she was going to be at her dad's and goes to her grandmother's house that because they're like I guess seasonal people and so they're not there right now and so she lets herself in there and she wakes up the next morning and everybody's gone and she her phone had went dead, so she didn't get any of the text or anything from any of her friends or family. And she's got to figure out, try to figure out what in the world's going on. There was an emergency evacuation. 
I have absolutely no clue what the evacuation is or what. I'm guessing we're going to find that out along with the main character. I'm, I've started this one and I'm 116 pages into it and it's okay. It's told in verse and I am not a poetry reader at all. And so how I'm doing this is just thinking about it as a story told in short sentences <laughs> and I don't even pay attention to the header of the poems or anything and I just I just read it and so far that's been working okay for me and stuff but then I do have uh, some more that I would like to try to fit in if I have time I have more uh, review books but we'll just have to see how things go but this one is one of them and this is uh, One Poison Pie by Lynn Cahoon. And this is number one in the Kitchen Witch series that she has. And I don't know a whole lot about it except for... Um, it's a, a Kitchen Witch. Um, it's about Mia who uh, moves into her grandmother's uh, quirky Idaho hometown where magic is open, secret, and witches and warlocks are mostly welcome. And so, of course, somebody's going to die, and she's going to be involved in figuring out what happened. Lynn Cahoon's one of my favorite cozy mystery writers, so I pretty much automatically grab anything from her. This one comes comes out on the 5th. And I had an e-arc for it from, I believe, Kensington. Yeah, Kensington. And um, then I won this off of Goodreads, so I got the actual book, so I'm excited. And... That is all of the e-arcs and arcs that I'm going to try to get to, hopefully, if I can. But I do have a book that I want to read, and that's The Burning Page by Genevieve Cogman. And this is number three in the Invisible Library series. Me and my friend Barb are reading the series together. We're doing a book a month. And um, I like the first one. I thought the second one had second book syndrome a bit, so I'm... Hoping this one's going to be better, and this about Irene, who is a librarian at the Invisible Library, and it is connected to all these different alternate worlds. There's high chaos, there's uh, order, and in some of the alternates there are vampires and werewolves and fae and things like that. And so, of course, in the chaos ones, there's like the fae. In the more ordered ones, you've got dragons and things like that. And um, Irene is always there to get like a special rare kind of book from these different alternate places and bring it, bring it to the Invisible Library. But she sometimes has to fight other people to get those books. And, um, you know, she's got an apprentice, Kai, that's working with her. And they all get into trouble no matter what. And I think Irene lives for... Uh, chaos and trouble but yeah they're interesting and I'm liking them so far I don't have a clue really what this one is exactly about I haven't actually read the the back and I don't really need to know we're reading the series I'm going to continue no matter what it says so I'm excited to see what happens and if I have time I would like to get to the book wanders pages in code number one and this is by Anna James, and I started this one a couple of months ago when I was doing the believe -a -thon, but I just didn't have time to get through it, and yeah, I only got to page like 43, so I had to put it back, give it back to the library, and then I just had too many other things to read before, and so when I went and got that, uh, the burning pages from the library, I decided to pick this one up again in hopes that maybe I can fit it in. And also, if I can, I would like to try to get to uh, The Keeper of the Lost City by Shannon Messenger. It is the uh, middle grade monthly selection for January, but it's not high priority or anything. Just if I can get to it, I would like to get to it. I did get it from Overdrive, the ebook from Overdrive. So maybe, fingers crossed, I can get to it. So. That's everything I have for this video, and so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.
Bye.